I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Michelle Chuang, the COO of Ascensus. Michelle, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you for having me. We're excited. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'd love to start by understanding a little bit more of what the Ascensus blockchain is. Could you start by giving you know, the vision of Ascensus and what are the specific solutions that you guys are solving? Sure, absolutely. So I think the first thing is to start with what is blockchain solving for? I think the promise of blockchain, as uh, our viewers know, is about security. It's about and, and through decentralization. However, the reason that blockchain hasn't been um, widely known or adopted in the mass market is due to the problem of scalability. And that is exactly the problem that Ascensus is trying to solve for. We are here to solve for scalability and through a census, we are able to provide scalability to enterprise as well as developers that they can develop their apps, enterprise can, can develop their solutions in a very secure, confident manner. And uh, while being all in decentralized, that users can hold their data in their hands and therefore reaching that peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely been a, a scalability talk going on in the past few years with the Bitcoin blockchain and Ethereum blockchain uh, seemingly decentralized, but not able to scale to a global level. Now, how is the Ascensus blockchain different from Bitcoin and Ethereum? How is it similar? And uh, what have you done differently that's allowed you to scale past what these two blockchains are capable of? That's a great question. So in terms of um, our distinction from other known um, platforms such as, such as Ethereum or Bitcoin is the fact that we approach our uh, technology from a very different angle. Our key invention is called Ensecrent um, and asynchronizes consensus zone. Basically, you're talking about all of the uh, uh, technology operating in parallel functions so that they uh, they each achieve more of a efficiency so instead of a sequential function that everyone has to speak to one another so so basically the analogy i often give to my team is around imagine yourself in a grocery store you have one checkout stand you're standing behind the checkout stand you're getting frustrated but all of a sudden the grocery store opens up 10 different uh checkout stand. And that's, that is a census where you have 10 checkout stands. Every, every checkout stand is operating efficiently and every customer can go through it as, as happily and efficiently as possible. And that is really our technology under the asynchronous consensus zone. Um, also powered by um, what we have a, our proprietary technology, the um, eventual autom autonomy around securing the efficiency of our technology and also our proprietary platform of the Choco new mining, which ensures the security of our platform, which all in three together that ensures the, uh, the security and then also the efficiency, which achieves the scalability of mm -hmm. our platform. Very interesting. And I know it can get quite technical and Bitcoin is technical enough for, for some people. So we don't dive into it too deep. But is there a compromise in security compared to the way that Bitcoin uh, has the consensus of verifying transactions where every node needs to have uh, a copy of that transaction um, or there needs to be a certain amount of confirmations? Is, it, is the asynchronous uh, consensus zones similar to that? No, absolutely not. So asynchronous consensus zone is not similar to that. The approach that we have in terms of asynchronous consensus zone is the fact that we approach it in a parallel function. So the analogy I just gave in terms of the grocery store. So we approach every transaction in its parallel format versus what, what some of um, the other players out there in the market right now approaches it in a very sequential matter. Mm -hmm. So in a sequential matter, you have to do one thing after another. In a parallel zone, you can do multiple things at a, all together. So that is mm -hmm. why we are, um, we are achieving that scalability for, for this technology. Great. And I know you're uh, fairly early on in the project compared to Bitcoin. All projects really are. Uh, but in terms of the level of decentralization in Bitcoin, you know, there is mining pools all around the world, but there's tens of thousands of people running nodes. Um, is that going to need to be the same and will it be the same on the Ascensus blockchain for the decentralization? We have already run a, an, an experiment 
of thousands of uh, computation um, all together, and we have proven ourselves to be successful. And we have actually presented that in, an, in the recent NSCI Computer Science Forum, where it's been vetted by our peers who are computer scientists from MIT to Berkeley to Stanford. Um, so we know that our technology has been vetted and it also has been confirmed as well as agreed upon. That's why we are very excited to share to the crypto world as well as the rest of the, all of the users on how we are going to able be able to achieve decentralized uh, model and providing security and while achieving secure uh, scalability. Mm -hmm. Great, Michelle. And can you speak on how long has the development been in progress? Uh, are you at the test net yet? And when will the main net be delivered? Great. That's an awesome question. So we have actually been working on this technology for the past couple of years. And um, it has been, as, you, um, as I mentioned, that we have been through the NSCI forum, um, have been through multiple experiment. And uh, so right now we are looking at launching our test net in summer of this year. So that's very exciting for us. We have uh, recently uh, uh, introduced, uh, 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 brought on some advisors to our, t our team, some notable advisors that we'll be announcing in the, in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, so there's a lot of things going on with the census and we really are excited to be joining with you and then also sharing with your viewers on, on some of the really monumental development that we have for in, in the not only just in the blockchain world, but also to to all the internet users. Mm -hmm. Great. And it's great to hear about the project early on before the test net is even live. And we'll see how that plays out. So that's something to look forward to. And one of the main factors of adoption of, of blockchains is the development. And if we could jump into the development a little bit more, how easy is it for developers to develop applications on top of a census? What is, what's the programming language and does it require tech, specialized technical knowledge specific to blockchain? Sure. Um, so our account model is based on high level programming language, which makes it just as simple as people developing on um, Ethereum today. And uh, of course, like all technology startup, we are very close to the voice of our users, our developers, and we'll be constantly listening to their feedback in, 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 in refining our technology to make sure that we stay close to the market and making sure that we are um, better than current technology because mm -hmm. we, we thoroughly understand that is the exact reason why we will win in this market. And the Ethereum community right now has the most amount of blockchain developers uh, out of all the communities. How are you going to incentivize developers to program with a census uh, rather than any other blockchain? Sure. So we will um, we actually uh, work with all types of cryptocurrency. So we actually welcome um, all of the uh, developers and transacting on the site. Uh, more specifically, what we do is that the fact that we we our, our, our platform is built with the purpose to help developers build new technology, a new product, which will connect them with their users and then also achieve their their goals as well as monetize in between um, in a more secure as well as uh, in, in a more secure and a more confident matter. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really our goal in terms of uh, what we're doing here at, at a census. That's great. And how many people are on the development team focused on working towards the test net right now? <laughs> sure. So we are always, um, first of all, we have, like I said, we have um, a global team. We have teams in Asia. We have teams in Europe. Um, our base is here in North America. And we are always looking for talent who are passionate about blockchain, who are passionate ab about creating a decentralized web that serves the purpose of humankind. Mm -hmm. That's really our goal here. So um, we are we have a global team, like I said, um, in terms of the developers, um, we're always looking for talents to join us, whoever who are skilled at computer science, who are writing, you know, who are coding, um, and who are always looking at challenging themselves. So that's really where we're at right now. Okay. 
And do you plan on having a, a marketing and business development team to uh, more easily integrate the Ascensus blockchain um, either through enterprise clients or for specific use cases in specific industries? Absolutely. Uh, so that is that is a great question. So my background is actually in marketing and then also customer engagement. So while um, also a part of my COO role here at Census, I'm also looking at customer engagement and also looking at what are some of our enterprise needs, because the core purpose of a census by creating a decentralized web, we thoroughly understand that in order to cater to the developers and also the mass public, we also have to think about our enterprise clients in mind. And also how do we serve these enterprise clients in helping them scale their what they're looking to achieve through either the IOTs or just, you know, uh, very frankly, you know, through whatever they're working on, whether it's mm -hmm. Walmart um, through their organic grocery or is the luxury chain through how often how authentic their merchandise must be. So mm -hmm. we're constantly thinking about that. Um, but of course, like any startup, we're starting one step at a time, making sure that we have robust technology in order for us to fulfill all of the promises that a census is set out to achieve. Mm -hmm. That's great. And you mentioned that you've solved the, the trilemma of security and decentralization with scalability. What does the scalability look like uh, in terms of the throughput of all the transactions going through the network, uh, potentially when the testnet comes out? Thank you for, say, uh, for asking that question, because that is actually one of the things that I'm most proud of. In terms of the, the, the transactions, we're looking at completing a transaction of 10,000 transactions per second. And, and because through our experiment, we were able to achieve uh, 2,000 um, throughput and then also 1,000 uh, capacity. And that is significantly higher than any of the products out there in the market right now. So that's why within a census, everyone on the team is really excited to, uh, to, to come out to the market and, then, and, and, and share with the world on what we're able to achieve as a team. And then we really look forward to um, the users um, coming to us and then sharing their interests with us and see what we can really you know, uh, contribute to this decentralized web in the future. Very cool. And with those transactions, I'm guessing there will be some sort of gas costs. And will that relate to some kind of a census coin that's used um, as a transaction cost? Or is there a currency integrated into the network as well? Good question. Um, so right now, so like I said, we will accept all kinds of cryptocurrency. Um, and since in terms of a census coin, you know, of course, we are going to adapt in the market. We are going to be looking and listening very actively to the users as well as to the space to determine, you know, what is most suitable for us. Um, we are very, every single day, we're very driven to the core of the purpose of why we're here, is to serve and achieve the decentralized web by serving the developer, by serving the users of this, this, this decentralized web. So more to come on that. Great. And uh, as a, a company that's helping grow this project, um, rather than being like a you know volunteer community-driven project, is the a census going to need to sustain itself with some kind of income streams and how will that function as the main net is developed? Thank you. So yes, of course, um, as we are starting out, um, uh, you know, as we have just announced our inaugural um, existence in last month, we are, we have been, there have been some venture capitalists that have, a, have actually approached us in expressing interest. And we are moving into our series A funding um, in the next few months or so. Um, so again, we're very excited about that. We're flattered by the fact that we have some interest towards us already. Um, and so we are excited to see, you know, the future of a census, but we know that currently we are healthy, we are strong, and we are just super excited excited the fact that you know come summer we'll, we'll we're going to be able to launch our test net mm -hmm. great and what do you need in the meantime are you looking for more team members i think you mentioned what about strategic partnerships or developers and how can they reach out and learn more thank you so yes we are always looking for people who are excited and passionate about 
you know, disrupting a, a industry. And what we're creating is certainly a disruptive technology that is per going to provide internet users with a more secure, decentralized um, opportunity to hold their data more secure to themselves. That's really the, the core of of a census. Um, so for all of those that are interested in staying in touch of a census, please, you know, log on to our, web, our website, www.ascensus.com and stay in touch. We have an email subscription that you, they, they can sub, stay in touch with. We have our Twitter, Twitter active. We have our LinkedIn page also active. Um, for all of those that are interested in, in joining the Ascensus team, please connect with us. Um, we are thrilled to have your interest and, and also to see, you know, if there's any opportunities uh, available. But like I said, Ashton, I think we are just more than ecstatic to be in this space to be able to create greatness together. Great. Well, I'll leave those links in the description box below. And thank you so much for taking the time, Michelle, for the interview. That's all the time that we have today. But let's follow up in the near future. Awesome. Thank you so much.